everyone, it's Linda in Belize. Now that I'm in Placencia, most people that I meet ask why I made the move from San Pedro to Placencia. So the first thing I want to mention is that I love both places, but I'm going to go through some of the differences and similarities as well as pros and cons if you're thinking of either moving to Belize or even just making a trip down. So if you're thinking of making a move to Belize, the first thing to consider is where you should check out. If you are a city type person, San Pedro might be the best fit for you. If you're a country type person, there's many different places you might want to check out. Now for me, I grew up in Edmonton in Canada in the city and my boyfriend John lived on an acreage outside of Edmonton. Now when we look at Belize, he originally bought land in the Punta Gorda area 10 years ago. And I bought property in San Pedro in 2020. Now, for me, Punta Gorda is not an area where I'd want to live. And for John, San Pedro is not an area he'd want to live. Now, both of those places uh, are great for us to visit. But to live, Placencia is kind of an in-between. There's tons of activities, which I love, lots of people that you could meet. But it is a lot more laid back than San Pedro. And one of the other things that I love about it is that I can drive a car and the roads are fantastic in comparison to San Pedro. So for San Pedro, it's the top tourist spot and that means it can be extremely busy, especially in busy season, which is late November till April. And because it's an island, you have to either fly there or take a water taxi. And because it's extremely busy and the roads are very small, we drive golf carts and downtown you'll find tons of traffic jams. So a tip for that is if you're going through downtown, stay away in the morning, at lunchtime and after school because those are the busiest times. And then there's other areas though that are a lot quieter. So south of the airport is extremely quiet and has tons of amenities. So that's where I've always lived in San Pedro. And if you go north of the bridge, it's also quiet and has a resort-like feel to it. So there's many places I like to go in the Trace Cocos area, such as Dog House, but when you're in north there, you do have to go through downtown to get back to the airport. So a lot of the people that live north or live south kind of go, geez, I only go into town when I need to, and I try to do lots at the same time. So although I hate the traffic jams during the prime time when I'm going downtown, the great thing about having more people is it means that there's way more activities. So there's tons of bars and restaurants in San Pedro and new ones opening all the time. And you can find live entertainment almost every night of the week, uh, or if you like trivia, cribbage, darts, any of those activities, you can do all of those things. And there's many different choices. And there's also a ton of shops. So new ones have been opening, even in the past year, I've seen a ton of new ones like Quartz and Divery Home open up that give us a lot more selection of home goods, which I really, really love. Now for Placencia, it's different because it's not an island. It's actually a 16 mile peninsula. And it also does get a ton of tourists and snowbirds. So certain times of the year, it's extremely busy, especially around Easter, I noticed when we were there that a lot of local tourists come as well. So on the peninsula, there's a lot of different areas. So in the very south part is the village with the famous Placencia sidewalk. I've done tons of videos that show that. And the great thing about Placencia is that you can drive and it's a proper highway. So we're not on bumpy roads like in San Pedro. So that's one of the big advantages of the things that I like. And then besides the village, which is quite busy and is hard to find parking, the Maya Beach area is a really popular place for expats to live. And that's actually where we live right now. And we can walk to many different amen amenities in Maya Beach. There's a hardware store. There's a few different restaurants. The Green Parrot Bakery and Resort, uh, where we play bingo tonight on Thursday, is there. And the other place we really love is Jaguar Lanes. It is a great place for bowling if you like that. But they also have a pool table and they have a great menu with very affordable prices. And then there's many other communities along the peninsula as well. So if you're looking to see when activities are and where, in Placencia we have a great resource that is put out by someone who writes a lot of art, great articles as well. So if you look up Real Life Recess in Placencia, you will find this events calendar online. And here she shows a lot of the different activities that happen. 
So for example, today is February 23rd. So if I scroll down there, you can see that tonight at 6 p.m. is bingo, which we're going to be going to. There's also trivia, uh, different live music at different places, karaoke. And um, then tomorrow there's a different activity, a grand opening of a new place called Simply Vibes Garden Bar. And then all the regular activities are scheduled in each month. So you can kind of scroll through and see which activities are happening different months. And sometimes there's special activities. Other times it is things that happen recurring. And then the other website I wanted to show briefly is that Inkies has a ton of events as well that aren't on the calendar. And this is where we play pickleball. So wine tasting is on the 24th of February, karaoke, rum tasting, movie night. So there's lots of other places that have activities where they're just not on the calendar yet. So as you go to some activities, you will learn obviously about more. Now, unfortunately, San Pedro doesn't really have a consolidated calendar like this one, but if you go to different bars and just ask what's going on, and actually at the front of the bars, they often have a schedule for the week of what's happening each day, whether it's live entertainment, trivia, uh, cribbage, all those kind of activities. So there are lots of things happening all the time in both places. It's just that San Pedro has way more different bars, so of course, way more activities. So both Placencia and San Pedro are located on the beach. And San Pedro is an island, so of course to get there you have to either take a flight or a water taxi, whereas Placencia is a peninsula, which means you can drive to get there or you can take a flight. Now, in terms of water activities, because they're both on the sea, obviously you can do any of the different water activities, snorkeling, diving, fishing. But San Pedro is closer to the reef, so divers do tend to go there because the reef is farther away from Placencia. Now, both areas do have great snorkeling. There's lots of keys off of both places that you can get to that have beautiful scenery. Now, in San Pedro, to talk about the beaches, many of them have seawalls, so people often swim off a dock. Placencia beaches tend to have less erosion, and the sand is a bit darker and more coarse. But I would say overall, a lot of people like the fact that in Placencia, you can just walk right off the beach into the water. Now, there are a few places in San Pedro that you can do that, but not as many. So one of the activities we really love is pickleball. And in San Pedro, the Grand Bayman Best Western has two courts. One of them is tennis, but people often play pickleball on that one as well. And it starts at 8 a.m. most mornings, and you can just check the front desk to see the schedule. And then in Placencia, we have a great resort called Serenian Bay, where there's four different courts. And there, there's also an association which schedules all the events as well as tournaments. So last week when we were in San Pedro, there were people saying, geez, we should come to Placencia since they actually have tournaments to organize, which all it takes to have these kind of things is someone to organize. So it's great to have Rebecca in Placencia. And you can see the schedule here uh, in the middle of the screen. So sometimes it's morning and other times it's in the evening. And that's one of the advantages uh, at Serenian Bay is that they have lights on the court so we can play in the evening. Uh, both of these locations actually do have a swimming pool on site as well as a bar and restaurant. So that's great, too, if you're playing pickleball. So one of the other activities that John really loves is playing pool. And so in Placencia, there's a bowling alley where we also like to go there for dinner. But they have one pool table and they have tournaments every Thursday night. And they also have poker tournaments there. And the food is very good and very affordable. And then in San Pedro, which I have on the left, there is actually Casey's uh, Boatyard. And the great thing about Casey's is they have many different pool tables. So there's two that are already refurbished and they offer pool tournaments uh, on multiple tables, which is an advantage. And in San Pedro, again, because there's so many more bars, there's lots of different places you can play. Now let's talk about community because one of the huge advantages of Belize is the people and the community. So I figured this all out in San Pedro, of course. There's a Humane Society, a Rotary Club, and many fundraising events. And you can see a lot of the events I go to um, on some of these pictures, including the turkey trot race that I really love. But in Placencia, we have those same things. We have the Humane Society, the Rotary Club, lots of fundraising like Bingo Tonight for the Rotary Club that I'm going to. And as you get to know people, you find out more things that people like to do and lots of different activities. 
And so every time I travel to different parts of Belize now, I'm thinking, who do I need to call to catch up with, whether I'm going to Belmopan or Belize City or San Pedro. So it is really easy to meet people, and it's a great place to be. Now I wanted to finish with a comparison of San Pedro and Placencia and some of the things that I like about one versus the other. So in terms of vehicles, uh, there's a little issue with San Pedro right now because there is a moratorium on new vehicles. So if you want to rent a golf cart, which is what we drive, it's about $750 US a month right now, and you're not allowed to bring a new one in. In Placencia, you don't have any of those restrictions. And one challenge, though, is that you likely need a vehicle, although it does depend where you live. In the village, it is hard to find parking. A lot of people do just walk everywhere they need within the village. Roads are another topic I like to chat about. So in San Pedro, most of the main roads are very bumpy. So they're made of paving stone and there's tons of storm drains that you have to go over and there's people walking and traffic jams. So it can be a little bit hectic. In Placencia, however, the main roads are really good. It actually feels like you're in North America. Although there's really big speed bumps. So you have to watch out for those, which is why I tell people not to drive at night in the dark. For shopping, in San Pedro, like I already mentioned, there's plenty of shopping options. There are multiple department type stores, one's called Dibury Home, which I really like. There's also key supplies where I shop. Whereas in Placencia, the options are more limited. Because I was looking for a coffee pot in the past couple of weeks here and couldn't find one. Although at least we can drive easily to Belmopan or Belize City, although it's about uh, within about three hours. And you wouldn't do that all the time, but we did end up finding a coffee maker in Belize City when we were doing other errands. Next thing to talk about is water. So in San Pedro, you do need to drink filtered water, whereas in Placencia, the tap water is drinkable and tastes good. So there are places in San Pedro where it's safe to drink, but it just doesn't taste all that good. But Placencia, the water comes from the mountains. So when I first stayed here on a trip, there was no water provided in the hotel, which was confusing because in San Pedro, there always is. And so I asked at the front desk and they said it's because it's safe and it's good. And I, uh, I can attest to that from all the trips I've done over the last couple of years. Next topic, of course, is activities, which I've already talked a lot about. In San Pedro, you can find many bars and restaurants in almost all areas. There are some exceptions. Uh, for example, when you're in the secret beach area, there's bars and restaurants, but no groceries as of yet. But most other areas in town, if you're downtown, there's pretty much everything you need. Even at Grand Bayman, which is south where I stayed last, I can walk to get groceries, get hardware, and go to different bars and restaurants. In Placencia, activities tend to be farther away from each other. So in Maya Beach, where I'm living, we have a hardware store. We have the Green Parrot Resort, where bingo happened. Um, we have Jaguar Bowling that's close by. So there are lots of things we can walk to, groceries, etc. But if I wanted to go to the village, I definitely need a car to do that. So things are just a bit farther away, and it always depends where you live. So both of these places are suitable depending on what you like. So I hope this video shows why I moved from San Pedro to Placencia because it's a better fit for us as a couple. Now, if you're thinking of a move to Belize and you're not sure where it's best, reach out about our next tour, which is starting on March 9th. Here we take people around San Pedro, Placencia, and Hopkins so you can see what the best fit for you might be as well. And I hope to see you soon in Belize.